Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. And if you didn't join me this morning at our session when I read this book earlier, then it's very nice to see you now. We read the story Zog and the Flying Doctors. And if you did join me this morning and you're here again, then lovely to see you too. Meet the Flying Doctors, a dragon, knight and girl. Their names are Gadabout the Great and Zog and Princess Pearl. Pearl gives people medicines and pills and vaccinations. Gadabout is very good at performing operations. Zog, who I think is a dragon by the looks of things. Do you agree? Touch your nose if you agree. Yeah, he's definitely got smoke coming out of his nostrils. Zog is good at flying, though not quite so good at landing. But Gadabout and Princess Pearl are always understanding. Flying high one morning, they heard a mermaid wail. I'm a sunburnt and it hurts, she cried and swished her scaly tail. Hmm. What do you need to put on to make sure you don't get sunburnt? Have a think. Don't think the mermaid had any sun cream on, do you? She wasn't wearing a hat and she could have been wearing a t-shirt or something just to cover up. Anyway, bang, crash, thump, they landed. The mermaid's skin was red. Pearl rubbed in some special cream and wear this hat, she said, where you already see. Thank you, said the mermaid and she waved a fond goodbye as the team of flying doctors sped away into the sky. Can you see them over there? She's waving, feeling so much better by the looks of things. As the sun rose higher, they saw a unicorn. He pawed the ground and whinnied. I've grown an extra horn. Now unicorns, as we know, only have one horn and that's what the word Bit of the word uni means. Do you remember yesterday we were talking about tri meaning three, well uni means one. Bang, crash, thump they landed. I'll help you, said the knight, and he cut the horn off gently to the unicorn's delight. I wonder what he used. Maybe a sword? Thank you, said the unicorn, for taking so much care, and the team of flying doctors sped away into the air. Halfway through the afternoon, they heard a lion sneeze. <laughs> I've caught the flu, the lion roared. Can someone help me, please? Bang, crash, thump, they landed. <laughs> Good poor old Zog. Not feeling too great after that land. And Pearl said, take this pill <clears throat> and do keep warm. That's terribly important when someone like you is ill. Well, but the lion's cave was chilly. So Zog said, fetch some wood. And then he breathed out lots of flames until the fire burned bright and good. Well, there you are. That's when dragons get to be very useful, as well as being something you can fly on. They can help you start fires. Thank you, roared the lion. I'm feeling nice and warm. And the team of flying doctors sped away into the storm. Mm. That's the thing with doctors. You can't just go out when it's nice and sunny. You go out when people need you. Sometimes the weather can be terrible. As evening fell, they saw a great big palace Ooh, down below. My uncle's house, said Princess Pearl. Let's go and say hello. Oh, look at that beautiful palace. So her uncle's the king. Bang, crash, thump, they landed. Pearl's uncle was the king. He didn't say hello. Instead, he said, you naughty thing. Where have you been, he thundered. You look an awful mess. What has happened to your crown and where's your pretty frilly dress? But uncle, 
can't you see that I'm a doctor now? She's holding her stethoscope for listening to people's hearts and lungs. So she's showing him, Uncle, I'm not a, just a princess in a frilly dress. That's not what I want to be. I want to be a doctor, look after people, get them better. The king replied, princesses can't be doctors, you silly, silly girl. Ooh. He told his men to seize her. <gasps> look, two guards taking hold of Princess Pearl and lock her up inside. Princess Pearl was furious. She stamped and stormed and cried. Weeks went by. Princess Pearl spent many weary hours oh, sewing pretty cushions and arranging pretty flowers, which is fine because some people love to do that. I like to do that, but I also like to be a teacher. So it's a shame Princess Pearl wasn't allowed to be both. Happy to make a cushion look pretty, happy to arrange flowers, but also happy to do a really important job. The others tried to rescue her with all their might and main, but they simply couldn't manage and all their efforts went in vain. <gasps> yes, well, look who's guarding the tower where Princess Pearl's being kept. Very ferocious dog. Each night they flew to visit her and perched upon her sill. And one dark night she told them that the king had fallen ill. Look, there they are. There's Gadabout and there's Zog and Princess Pearl stuck inside the tower. But the king is poorly. He called a lot of doctors, a new one every day. He croaked, what is this illness? but they simply couldn't say. They didn't know the answer. It looks like orange, oh, they, they didn't know the answer, but Pearl was pretty sure. It looks like orange fever and she read about the cure. Now she needed grated horn of unicorn, a mighty lion's sneeze, some mermaid scales, a little slime and half a pound of cheese. She told the others where to get and what to get and do be very quick. My uncle could be dying. He looks extremely sick. Away flew Zog and get about. They reached the lion's den. Ah, bang, bang, crash, thump, they landed. He sneezed for them. So now she's got the sneeze she needed, the lion sneeze. He sneezed for them and then... Had about caught it in a bag or a box or a pot. They flew back to the forest where the grateful unicorn was very pleased to give them his unwanted sawn off horn. That's right, grated unicorn horn. Back to the mermaid's rock they flew, she gladly gave some scales. And her sea snail friends allowed them to collect their slimy trails. Now that's a useful place to get slime. Zog said, I'm exhausted, but he flew and flew until bang, crash, thump, he landed on the princess's bedroom windowsill. Dear, oh dear. Princess Pearl said thank you, and for the scales, the slime, the sneeze, and the horn, which then she grated up with half a pound of cheese. So now she's got all the ingredients to make the medicine for her uncle, the king. She tiptoed to her uncle's room. He's looking very, very under the weather there, isn't he? Bright orange. The king lay in his bed. She held a spoonful to his mouth. Now open wide, she said. And after just one spoonful, her uncle felt much stronger. And after Spoonful too, he wasn't orange any longer. Orange, not orange. After Spoonful three, the king was dancing with delight. Princesses can be doctors, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry I locked you up. Of course you must go free. And do come back to visit me and bring your friends for tea. Hooray, cried Pearl. 
she's free. Look how happy she is. She's going to get back to work. And she ran out to join the other two. Then off into the sunset sped the flying Dr. Crew. And the king is waving a big goodbye. Good story. We like Princess Pearl. Well, and we like Gadabad, Gadabout and Zog. Good team. Nothing like working together as a team. Okay, everybody. Well, it was very nice to join you and share this time. I will see you later for phonics and tomorrow for another story. Bye for now.